Welcome to the number one music review show in the world. I'm yours, Jay Lynn. It's going up. Know you been asking your friends. They ain't gonna keep it above. Is it a keyboard can? If you're scared and the truth, don't listen it in. I'ma tell you where I stand. If it's fire, you get a key. If it's trash, go in the can. Sit it in for free, you'll be fine. This might be a sign, don't be wasting time. If you or your guys give the line, put you in a prime, play your song tonight. Let's go! Shout out to y'all, man, for putting y'all self in the Prime, making y'all self a priority, skipping the line so that you can get on the show. I appreciate every person who has submitted. I appreciate every person who has shared my link. I appreciate every person who has told another person about me. Thank you. Round of applause to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We finna get this show started, but before we do, I need you to do a few things for me. Very simple, nothing, nothing too hard, nothing too crazy. I don't need your bank account information unless you wanna volunteer it. But I don't need that. What I do need is for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Super simple, it's just a click of a button. Just one, two, three. Comment right now, just say hey. Say hey, Jay Lee. I appreciate that. This show is super special because it is the producer edition. Yes, yes, I'm doing everything I can to make sure this is a hub to connect everybody in music. So now we're doing a producer edition where producers have submitted their tracks in to find out if it's a key or a key. Making beats and producing is two different things. A lot of people who make beats, they do consider themselves a producer and it's nothing wrong with that. So I, I'm not here to get into the technical terms of whether it's producing or making a beat. At the end of the day, it's art and however you put together what you put together, whether it's through splice, whether it's kudos to you. But what I do have is I have a platinum producer, Grammy nominated producer, hit maker, heavy hitter in the industry here to help me critique the producers, give a little insight. And not only that, we're doing a competition and whoever wins the competition is gonna have an opportunity to co-produce with this goat. The goat is Duraj Global. I appreciate him so much for collaborating with me on this episode of the Producers Edition to give some insight. Also, they're actually getting to an artist who's putting a great song to it, and then we're putting it out to the world to be loved and appreciated and be profitable so that your art can make you money, okay? We're about to start the show, starting off with our first producer, Nick Crash, and the first beat is called Town Square. I always wonder, how do producers name your beats? Like, comment that. How do you name your beat? Town Square. When I start rapping, that mean the beat is just super, super crazy. Okay, that's the first beat. That's the first, not bad. Let's see where we go.
You make beats for artists that really have substance. Like, <coughs> can't just get. Oh. Like I said before, I'm not going to critique the production and give it a score and all that. It's just going to be, is it a key or it can? Do I think somebody can make some heat to it? Is it just trash where you need to start from scratch? We're going to leave it to Derage Global to actually critique the beat and let you know what he think you could work on and maybe some changes you can make. But as for me, I would say my favorite beat is number three. I think somebody can make some magic over sour. Came in hitting. It had a groove to it the whole time. All I need is a fire cadence, fire hook, some bars on it, and it's, it's out of here. So I'm rocking with Sour. I'm gonna have to go ahead and keep you. I think you're a dope producer. I would love to hear more. All right, Nick, I'm gonna go ahead and get Duraj Global on the line and see what he thinks about this, okay? Duraj, what you thinking? All right, so let's get it, Jay Lee. Let's get into Nick Crash. All right, so first up, we got Town Square. For the pros, you know, I feel like it's open enough for artists to get on it and do their thing. The sounds are balanced, and I can tell you take time and effort to structure your beats. So for the cons, it sounds a little bit too compressed. It lacks a little excitement for my taste, but it's an overall okay beat. All right, next, let's get in the pool. The pros, I feel like it starts off energetic. So for the cons, I feel like the beat kind of gets a little too boring. You go into the beat drops for the verses. It's cool to take out instruments and stuff, but still I have that excitement while you taking stuff out. Again, another overall okay beat. All right, let's get in the sour. So for the pros, you know, when a beat first comes on, it caught me. I feel like it has potential. For the cons... The piano and the 808, they, they just in the wrong key. But overall, I feel like the track has great potential. Just fix those elements. For my final critique, I feel like your beats are cool, man. They have great potential. They feel a little amateur at times. But overall, I feel like you got a good sound. The drums are cool, but I feel like you should experiment a little bit more with your melodies and the sound selections that you use for your melodies. Don't overcompress your beats so much. You want to leave room for the engineer to turn it up after the artist gets on it. And if it's too compressed coming in, you know, they have to turn the beat all the way down and things get kind of messy. So just keep perfecting your craft, bro. All right, we're going to keep it. Hey, congrats to making it to the tournament. Moving on to the next producer. I believe that this is a producer duo. Ill vibe. Let's hear the first beat. Anytime, any place. remind me of of like two different things in one kind of remind me of like a skate track like something that you know people would be skating to and kind of like a doodle brown like i don't know it's kind of like okay i mean it's different Third beat, Warp Star. Kind of remind me of some Timberland type, Missy Elliott type. 
ill vibe let me just start off by saying i feel like you already have a distinct sound i get the whole vibe i rock with it and the way i determine whether it's a keep or a can is can an artist make some magic on it do i feel like these beats have a chance in the studio with something dope being written on it i will give you a keep i would like to see you in the competition so i'm gonna keep you but let's turn it over to Derage Global and see if he got some some critiques or something that can help you, okay? Derage Global, what you thinking? How you feeling? All right, all right, ill vibe. Let's get it. Any time, any place. So the pros, you know, I feel like it has great energy, great sound selection, great structure. Feeling it. For the cons, it feels a little bit boomy and it could use a better mix. Overall, I feel like it's a good beat. But listen, Coach, I feel like it has great energy, uh, great sound selection. I like that it's different and it doesn't sound like everything else. Great breakdowns. For the cons, I feel like it could be mixed better and that'll make it sound bigger. Overall, another great beat. Uh, for the next one, Walk Star. You know, for the pros, I like the sound selection. I like how you switch from the hooks to the verses. It kind of puts me in the mood of a 2023 Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Overall, dope vibe. Again, with the cons, I feel like the mixing could really bring this beat to a whole different level. Final critique for your ill vibe. I love your sound. I love the energy that your tracks have. You really got great potential, man. I see good things coming for you in the future. Keep up the great work, for sure, for sure. All right, we're going to keep it. Hey, congrats to making it to the tournament. Moving on to our next producer, Phoenix. Beat is called Sight. I feel like the melody was a little mm, amateur da, 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 da. for me. I mean, you know, but you know, it was good. It was good. I love you. Okay, simple life. Phoenix, I like what you're doing and where you're going. I really like your drum patterns. I think they're dope. I think you could work on the melodies a little bit more. I always say like a producer has really nailed the melody in a track when the artist actually takes the melody and be like, oh, 
I just need to put some words to the melody you already got. When it's strong enough. I feel like that's something you can work on melodies. But the drums is like usually the part that people be so whack at. So the fact that you got a nice little cadence and sound with the drums is really dope. But I'm not going to get out of my lane and get to critique it too much on the producer side. I'm going to hand that over to Duraj Global. I will say for me... It's a keep. I would like to see you in the competition and see what heat you can bring to the table so that you can actually get in that top spot. But let's turn it over to Duraj and see what he got to say. All right, Phoenix, you up next. All right, let's get in the sight. For the pros, I feel like the balance is okay. Cons, I would have to say, I mean, bro, it's just, it's off key. The melodies aren't in key with the 808. Uh, overall, I would say that this track needs work. All right, so for Mystic, the pros, I feel like it has a bounce when it first comes on. But let's get into the cons. Again, when the music melody comes in, it's just it's off key with the 808, so it kind of throws it off. I feel like overall, if you could take out the melodies of this track and just use that 808, you know, with your sound effects and the drums, I feel like a, I could hear an artist on top of this track, but I would just take out the music completely. And simplicity is best, you know what I mean? All right, let's get into the next one. I love you. So for the pros, I feel like it's a great sample. Now let's get into the cons. Again, the 808 is not in key with the sample. So, you know, overall, I feel like this track, you know, could be something if you put the, you know, 808 in the right key, put a better mix on it, you might have something there. Uh, so for my final critique for you, you got to put your 808s in the same key with your melodies. All right, we're going to keep it. Hey, congrats to making it to the tournament. Thank you so much, Daraj, for being a part of the show. This has been amazing, the producer edition. If you love the producer edition and would like to hear some more producers, just comment, tag some producers, and as long as I'm getting submissions, I'm coming through with a show. But we got to get back to the artists, okay? Because you know I stand for the independent artists. In the words of myself, next artist. Because it's about that time. We're going to close out the show. I appreciate you. I need you to do a few things. Comment, like, and subscribe. And also send me to a friend. Tag an artist. And now tag a producer that you feel like need to be on the show. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We finna run the outro. Because I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, tell your mama I said that, okay? <laughs>